commencement ceremony. You may be seated. I am Dr. Rodriguez, the Tracy Rodriguez. I'm the proud principal of Harold T. Branch Academy, and it is my pleasure, honor, and certainly heartwarming love to congratulate the class of 2022 today. Welcome to everybody this morning, including those that may be tuning in virtually. To feel the love and support within this room is certainly heart-touching. Today we have a special ceremony for all of our graduates, and we certainly want to acknowledge their accolades. Let me be the first to congratulate our graduating class. The CCISD motto is every student a learner, every learner a graduate, and every graduate a success. And I'm here to tell you that has been accomplished today. Our seniors sitting before us represent innumerable awards and recognitions. Collectively as a class, they've been awarded over $1.2 million in scholarships and financial aid, and that is especially exceptional for a small school like ours. These honors are the achievements that bring great credit to you, your family, our school, this community, and this district, and everybody who's loved by you. I would like to ask that everybody please stand for the presentation of colors led by W. B. Ray High School, our vertical team color guard, following then the pledge, our national anthem, and our welcome address. The pledge will be led by our senior class president, Ashlyn Michelle Robles. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please welcome my friend and junior class representative, Madison Cole Flores, to lead the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of 
You may be seated. All right. All right. Good morning, parents, faculty, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. I wanted to thank everyone for joining us to celebrate this special day. It truly has been a wild ride for these past four years. We have experienced so many ups and downs, and despite all the obstacles we face, we can now say the hard work finally paid off. So much has led up to this day, and I cannot believe it's finally here. We were constantly reminded how high school will be over before you know it, and sure enough, here we are saying goodbye to the years of our adolescence. I'm so thankful to have been a part of this graduating class. We shared so many great memories, and I am happy to finally say we did it. At this time, I am pleased to recognize our distinguished guests who are joining us for this special ceremony. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing. We ask that you hold your applause until all guests have been recognized. Representing the Corpus Christi Independent School District Board of Trustees, our Assistant Secretary, Ms. Alice Upshaw-Hawkins. Representing the Corpus Christi Independent School District Administration, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Roland Hernandez. Our Deputy Superintendent of Business and Support Services, Ms. Karen Griffith. Our Deputy Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Ms. Kimberly James. Our Chief Officer of School Improvement and Innovation, Dr. Sandra Clements. Our Executive Director of School Leadership Services, is Dr. Bruce Wilson for our high schools. Executive Director for School Leadership, Ms. Elizabeth Bettis for middle schools. And we're also wel welcome today with the presence of Del Mar College Administration, Mr. Davis Middell, D Dean of Division of Industry and Public Service. Ms. Patricia Dominguez, Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. And Ms. Nicole Kuriski, CTE Programs Coordinator at Del Mar College. And to all the CCISD administration here today, either volunteering your services, if you could please stand as well, including our campus administrators, counselors, teachers, and auxiliary staff of Harold T. Branch Academy, if you could please stand to be recognized. Oh, yes. All of these ladies and gentlemen are truly the beating heart of our work and that will never stop. Thank you. I would like to invite the Board of Trustees Assistant Secretary, Ms. Alice Upshaw Hawkins, to say a few words. Good morning. The script says afternoon, so. On behalf of Corpus Christi Independent School District's Board of Trustees, we, are con we congratulate you on earning your high school diploma. This is hands down our favorite time of the year. It is always so exciting each year to greet graduates as they cross the stage. What an important milestone this is. 
for you, for your family, for our district, and for our community. This year, Corpus Christi ISD celebrates nearly 2,500 graduates, no small achievement. And we are CCISD proud of each and every one of you. As we know, the end of your pre-K 12 experience is just the beginning of the rest of your life. As a board, we join the district in encouraging all graduates to celebrate this hard-earned achievement and to have a plan in mind for the future. It is so very important to have a roadmap that shows the way toward achieving your new goals, the ones that will help you build the life you have dreamed of. Perhaps your next step is college. Some of you will serve our country in the military, and we thank you for your willingness to do so. Others are headed into the workforce. All of these choices will bring you new experiences which will be both exciting and challenging. We encourage you to embrace the challenges ahead. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Sustain your courage by reminding yourself that you have per persevered with your education during a pandemic and you can do anything. Yeah. We cannot wait to see what you do next. We're so fortunate to have your talents to benefit our community, our country, and world. While recent years have surely included more than their share of difficulties, it remains a wonderful time to live and work in Corpus Christi. Please use the education you have earned thus far as a foundation to continue learning, growing, and giving back to your community. Once again, on behalf of the full board, we offer our congratulations, congratulations, on your accomplishment. Please enjoy every moment of this ceremony and this day. You have our very best wishes as you pursue your bright future. Thank you. The Corpus Christi Independent School District and Harold T. Branch Academy are extremely delighted to recognize some special seniors today. To start, I would like to recognize our seniors who are going to be in the armed forces. At this time, would our military recruits please stand to be recognized? Congratulations, gentlemen. We are so proud that you are serving our country. Let us also recognize students who are not just busy at school, but were also busy outside of school with either work or an internship, either part-time or full-time, while attending Branch Academy. Will you please stand to be recognized? Thank you for your commitment. Let us also recognize those graduates that are the first in their family to graduate from high school and make their families proud. If you could please stand. Excellent job. Keep trucking the way. Next, let us honor the students that not only are graduating today, but graduated last night at Del Mar College. If you would please stand. We are so proud of you. I want to also recognize some of our honor graduates 
Those, they're listed in the program, but those that have either medals of honor, gold cords, cum laude, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, anything with a GPA of over an A, an A average, please stand to be recognized. I appreciate your hard work. I would like to announce our top 10 at Branch Academy as well. As I call your name, I want you to stand and remain standing until all the names will be recognized. Amelia Cavazos. Cassandra Villobos Torres. Rebecca Galvan. Flor Betran. Araceli Torres, Mary Goldboon, Ashlyn Robles, Jacob Gabrish, John Pisarek, and Joy Hernandez. I would like the parents of these students to also stand to be recognized. Their hard work certainly pays off, and we appreciate your love and support. What a great honor. Thank you. Well, we could not do the work that we do without some great partners. Our biggest and most important partner is Del Mar College. We truly cherish this partnership, and we are certainly privileged to have this partnership. We could not do the work to be fulfilled without them. On behalf of the college, I would like to welcome Mr. Davis Middell, the Dean of the Division of Industry and Public Service, to share a few words of wisdom. Thank you. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning. There we go. There we go. First of all, graduates, would you please stand? There are people here that have clothed you, they've fed you, they've motivated you, they paid for your cell phone bill, they woke you up probably this morning, they found where your regalia was, helped you to put that on. At this time, because of their commitment to you, please turn around and give your family and friends a round of applause. Okay, have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> My name is Davis Merrill, and I'm the Dean of Industry and Public Service at uh, Del Mar College. And on behalf of Del Mar College, I would like to welcome all of you to the Richardson Auditorium here on the Heritage Campus of Del Mar College for this graduation ceremony for students from the Harold T. Branch Academy for Career and Technical Education. <clears throat> Del Mar College and Harold T. Branch and the CCISD system have an outstanding partnership in serving the students in Corpus Christi. Today is a culmination for the students as they complete not only graduation requirements, but also completion of certificates, marketable skills awards, or industry certifications, as mentioned last night at the Del Mar graduation. By meeting these standards, the students have already started on a pathway to success in a rewarding career or continuation of educational pursuits. I hope this is not the last graduation these students participate in. With some of you, this is the third graduation you've had. Kindergarten, maybe junior high, and now this, right? So hopefully there's a lot more. Many walked the Del Mar stage last night, and it is especially rewarding to me to witness that because I know that our faculty played a vital part in that process as well. I encourage the graduates to take the next step in this pathway and continue with your education and training and capitalize on both your learning and earning potential. And I stress earning, okay? Congratulations on your graduation today, but always continue to learn and remember that registration for summer and fall is already open. <laughs> We'd love to have you on the Windward campus 
or any Del Mar campus. A couple of things to consider. Remember that employees want you to be professional. They want you to be honest. They want you to be on time and dedicated. They demand your attention and a desire, a positive attitude, and a willingness to learn. Also remember that respect is both given and received, and demand more from yourself and you will do well. Finally, I want to give you a few stats to consider. I hate math, so it's not going to be in-depth or anything like that, but they are important. It typically takes 4.7 to 5.2 years for a community college student to complete a two-year degree. So let that sink in. Also, to complete that two-year degree, they average 96 hours in a 60-hour degree plan. So what does that tell you? There are some issues that come with that. The best thing that you can do is communicate with people honestly, take advice from faculty, from advisors, and the people that are in the know, and realize sometimes other people have your best interest in heart as well, okay? Please ask questions. Work with your advisors, work with faculty, work with friends as you continue your education or training. It is okay to ask for help. Remember that, it is okay to ask for help. Don't fall into that statistical gap that I just mentioned. Stay focused and work hard. Congratulations to all of you and enjoy today. Thank you. Excellent. I am extremely delighted to recognize some two very special seniors today, honored for a very special recognition. To begin, I will start with a student who maintained a grade point average of 110.78 and is committed to her peers and community. She was born in Jalisco, Mexico and immigrated with her family at a very young age. She has been involved in extracurricular activities such as Muafa Theta, National Technology Honor Society, and volunteered at the Westside Helping Hand Organization, in which it is it helps low-income children in the Corpus Christi area. She plans to continue her education at Texas A&M University Kingsville, majoring in computer science. Let us put our hands together for our 2022 Branch Academy Salutatorian, Cassandra Villalobos Torres. Will her parents, Mr. and Ms. Joel Villalobos, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your continued support. Welcome, family, friends, faculty, and graduates of the class of 2022. I would like to start off by saying thank you to everyone joining us this morning, both in person and in virtually. As a fellow graduate of the class of 2022, I know how difficult it was to reach this milestone. We overcame countless hardships especially through the COVID pandemic, which affected us inside and outside of school. Although our circumstances weren't the most favorable these past few years, we made it here. For this, I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2022. Not just because in less than one hour, we'll be able to move our tassel from right to left and say that we've graduated, but because we were able to do so while going through an unfamiliar living experience. I would like to sum up our, four, our year with three words that you are familiar with, live, love, and laugh. So let's start with live. We survived. Staying up late, waking up extra early, reaching out for more help, and even dropping a class were all decisions that some or many of us took. Whether we felt like giving up at times or momentarily had to prioritize other parts of our lives, those were all just signs that we were trying. Next, love. We all had the amazing opportunity of attending an early college high school with a loving, supportive, and accepting environment. 
a high school that valued, understood, and supported us. Inclusive of planning special events, therapy dog visits, class meetings, socials, and campus activities. The same high school that added a ping pong table in the deck for students to relax and enjoy and or challenge Mr. Rashidi or Mr. Bettis to a game. <laughs> we were allowed many freedoms with responsibilities that I hope have better prepared us for what is to come. Our school showed them love with high expectations that we all in our own way without a doubt managed to reach. Attending college classes or working full time while already having high school on our plate is difficult. And I commend all of us for taking branch up on that opportunity. Lastly, black. Choosing to go to a high school where selected students from all across the district would be going was terrifying. Entering freshman year, I always heard the words, these next four years are going to fly by. Back then, I never truly believed them. Now, those are the same words I would say to any freshman. Within these four years, I met some wonderful people and had the privilege of calling them my friends. Because of them, four years of struggle and learning experiences felt a lot short. I don't think I would have been able to be motivated enough on my own to survive at 8 o'clock in the morning for a college algebra class in, during quarantine. So finding people that make you feel good about yourself is important. When we all laugh together, it allows us to share peace and comfort. Behind all of our achievements are people that motivated us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank those that pushed me to achieve greatness. So, Thank you to my siblings and my brother-in-law for being my number one haters <laughs> and supporters all in one. I am very lucky to have such great people by my side, and I hope that I was able to make you all proud today. I want to thank all my friendships for showing me what true friendships look like. They believed in me when I was doubtful and they made sure I was never struggling all on my own. For that, I am forever grateful. This next portion of my speech is going to be in Spanish. Quiero darle las gracias a mis padres por apoyarme en todo momento. Todos los sacrificios que han hecho, se los agradezco. Y tengan por seguro que no han sido en vano. Yo sé que al igual que yo, hay muchos estudiantes que tienen padres inmigrantes y me entenderán cuando digo que este momento significa mucho para nosotros. Poder tener la educación que quizás nuestros padres no, tuvi no obtuvieron es un paso adelante para nuestra generación. Muchos dicen que sus padres han movido montañas por, para sus hijos, pero nuestros padres han movido países por nosotros. I am honored to say that I was a part of this graduating class, and I cannot see, wait to see what the future has in store for us. The regalia that each of us are wearing were well-deserved and earned, but cannot define our future. Instead, our motivation, resilience, and perseverance will allow us to grow, learn, and experience success. I truly wish the best to the class of 2022 in your next adventure. Again, congratulations, and thank you. Beautiful, Cassandra. Thank you for your thoughtful words. Our next honoree has maintained a grade point average of 112.21 and has completed her associate's degree in liberal arts from Del Mar College. She's been involved in her school and community. She's also a member of the National Technical Honor Society and Mu Alpha Theta. In addition, she received her certification in sign language one and two from the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Center of Corpus Christi to aid others in the community. She plans to continue her education at Texas A&M Corpus Christi to earn a bachelor's degree in psychology. 
Let us put our hands together for our 2022 Branch Academy Valedictorian, Amelia Isabella Cavazos. Will her parents, Mr. and Ms. Frank Cavazos, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your continued support. Good morning, friends, family, faculty, and the graduating class of 2022. First and foremost, I would like to begin by thanking Jehovah God for making today possible and for helping me get through these past four years, because let's be honest, they weren't always easy. Additionally, I would like to thank both my mom and dad for being the biggest supporters in my life. During the pandemic, I had a really difficult time coping with online school, and not once did they make me feel judged for the way that I was feeling. Thank you for reminding me that my health is more important than any grade I could receive when I couldn't recognize that myself. Without you both, I know I wouldn't be up here today giving this speech. Next, I would like to thank both of my big brothers, Christian and Alec. Thank you for always making me laugh when I was stressed over an assignment. That meant more to me than y'all will ever know. And you guys had a unique way of showing me support, but I felt it and value it all the same. My grandparents, thank you for always being there for me. Whether it was for lunch or just a much needed break from school, I always felt like I could rely on you to be there when I needed you. And to my mama Juanita, no existen suficientes palabras para expresar lo agradecida que estoy con usted y papatino, que en paz descanse por tantos sacrificios que ustedes hicieron al moverse a un país diferente a el de ustedes. Yo sé que pasaron muchas privacidad, privacidades, pero también sé que lo hicieron por amor por la familia y para que tuvieran una vida mejor. Estoy consciente que si no fuera por esos sacrificios hoy, yo no estaría aquí presente celebrando este gran logro. Espero que logre hacerlos orgullosa de mí. Te quiero mucho, mamonita. And lastly, I would like to say thank you to all of my tios, tias, and other relatives. In one way or another, you've made an impact on my life and have shaped me into the person I am today. To my fellow graduates of 2022, like my friend Cassandra, I too have three supportive words to share with you. Hope, heart, and happiness. To start, let's talk about hope. When I walked into Branch Academy roughly four years ago, fear was the emotion or feeling that I recall the most but I remained hopeful that everything would be okay. I was afraid because I knew that I was gonna walk headfirst into something new, a new school filled with new people. Now, not many people know this, but after my first day at Branch, I begged my parents to let me leave and go to high school where all of my middle school friends were going. And I was so ready to call it quits and go where I would be comfortable, where I would feel safe. But my parents, true to their nature, told me to give it a week. They told me that if I continued going to school for the following four days, and after that I still felt like leaving, they would allow me to leave. Well, the four days passed, and I never brought the topic up again because I had a change in heart. Branch still felt like a new place full of people that I didn't know, but I didn't see it the same way that I did on the first day. Instead of feeling scared, I looked at the school with the heartfelt desire to succeed and meet new people. And ultimately, that's what Branch is all about. After my freshman year, I had already made friends that I would have never had the chance to had I left. Taking interesting college classes with unique professors can be quite the bonding experience. And although we had quite the bump in the road with the pandemic, I'm glad that we all made it out on the other side. My senior year felt the busiest, but it also felt like the most fun. This year alone, I've made so many other friends, which I'm so grateful for. During our senior exit presentations, one of the questions that was asked of us at the end was, if you could say something to yourself as a freshman, what would you say and why? Without a doubt, I would tell myself to stick with it. Never lose hope, find what fills your heart, and to give Branch a chance. Attending an early college high school like Branch was the most challenging thing I could have done, but it's also been the most rewarding. Not many people can say that they graduated with an associate's degree the day before they were given their high school diploma, and I'm incredibly grateful that I was able to become one of them. 
Lastly, happiness. I know our high school experience was not the most conventional, but I'm happy that we were able to have one last normal year together. I hope I'm not just speaking for myself when I say that I would not trade this year for anything. The close friendships I've made and the classes I took made my time at Branch fly by, and I could not have asked for a better group of people to endure, share, and be happy with these past four years. Congratulations, class of 2022. I wish, I wish each and every single one of you all the happiness as we enter the next stage of our lives. Thank you. Thank you, Amelia. Okay, the moment. Seniors, please stand. Dr. Hernandez, if you would come forward. I present to you this graduating class of 2022 for certification. I hereby declare that they have met the requirements for graduation as established by the Texas Education Agency and our local school board. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez, platform guests, parents, friends, and relatives of all of our 2022 graduates. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Corpus Christi Independent School District, and upon assurance from Dr. Rodriguez, the principal here at Harold T. Branch Academy, and her faculty, that this class has completed the requirements for graduation prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Corpus Christi Independent School District, it becomes my privilege to certify this 2021-2022 graduating class of Harold T. Branch Academy. It is with pleasure that I recommend that all of our graduates of Harold T. Branch Academy be awarded their diplomas at this time. Congratulations to all of you and to your family. I would like to welcome Ms. Jimenez, our College and Career Readiness Counselor, as well as Ms. Mayak, our Academic Counselor, to the stage to assist. Seniors, except for the first row, you may be seated. Seniors will now be presented their diplomas. The photos that we'll be taking this morning are also available through a QR code for all of our families to view immediately after the ceremony. So just so you know, these photos will be accessible following the ceremony through that QR code that's located on our website, as well as the students have it. John Gabriel Aguirre, Jr. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Juvenal Guadalupe Arredondo. Magna Cum Laude, United States Army. Robert Lee Barger, Jr. Summa Cum Laude, United States Navy. Flor Lisette Beltran. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Jesenia Darlene Besserell. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Marigold Carol Boone. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Brady Victor Batari. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Kingsville. 
Madison Lee Brown. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Catherine Hannah Buffington Lopez. Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Alicia Aises Calderon. Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Saul Guadalupe Conchola. Del Mar College. Brittany Isabella Cardenas Castillo. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Harold T. Branch Academy's Class of 2022 Valedictorian, Emilia Isabella Cavazos. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. <laughs> Sabian Miguel Cavazos. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, University of Alaska Fairbanks. David Jason Cruz, Jr. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Alejandro De La Paz, Jr. Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Angelina Vashtai de la Paz. Summa Cum Laude, University of Texas at San Antonio. Josiah James de Leon. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Jose Arturo de Goyado. Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Jacqueline Page Elizondo. Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Kayla Alexis Escamilla. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Vivian Nicole Flores Zuniga. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Jacob Paul Gabrish. Summa Cum Laude, Tarleton State University. Rebecca DeVay Galvan. Summa Cum Laude, University of Texas at Austin. Araceli Juanita Garcia. Summa Cum Laude, University of Texas at San Antonio. Aiden Xavier Garcia. Cum Laude, Our Lady of the Lake University. Juan Antonio Garcia. Summa Cum Laude, United States Army. 
Carlos Alejandro Garza. Cum laude, Del Mar College. Efrain Gomez, Jr. Del Mar College. Itzel Gonzalez. Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Alejandro Guillen Jr. <laughs> Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Alina Soile Hernandez. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Diego Rafael Hernandez. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Hawaii Pacific University. Joy Hernandez. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, St. Mary's University. Curtis Nathaniel Hughes III. <laughs> Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Michaela Yvette James. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Isaac Lopez, Jr. Summa Cum Laude, Texas Tech. A. Marie Luna. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Dianella Cecilia Marquez Cova. <laughs> Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Ricardo Mateo Menchaca. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Marisa Nicole Mendez. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Kingsville. Destiny Nevea Mixon. Summa Cum Laude, Texas State University. Caitlin Jade Molina. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Erilyn Ray Montes. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. Brianna Danielle Noland. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. John Andrew Pisarek. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Arturo Ponce, Jr. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Luna Fernanda Ressa, Summa Cum Laude, University of Illinois, Chicago. Ashlyn Michelle Robles. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Angel Gabriel Rodriguez. Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. 
Angelina Grace Rodriguez. Cum laude, Del Mar College. Matthew Ray Santos. Magna Cum laude, Texas A&M, Kingsville. Sierra Esther June Schultz. Magna Cum laude, Hardin Simmons University. Andrea Michelle Silva Baragan. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Destiny Ann Solis. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Del Mar College. John Michael Soteo Jr. Magna Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Bryce David Spicer. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Heaven Neve Tovar. Magna Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Blaine Thomas Ray Trim. Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Anissa Elise Valdez, Magna Cum Laude, Del Mar College. Harold T. Branch Academy's Class of 2022 Salutatorian, Cassandra Villalobos Torres. Summa Cum Laude, Texas A&M, Kingsville. Silvano Villarreal. United States Navy. Daniel McCall Wilson. <laughs> Summa Cum Laude, Houston Baptist University. Graduates, will you please stand? The moment they've been waiting for. At this time, you may officially move your tassel from right to left, signifying the official declaration. Congratulations to the class of 2022. I want to welcome our student council president, Jasenia Darlene Bidicel. Seniors, you may be seated. going to jail. <laughs> okay, so I had uh, actually passed out these little pins with blue and pink. Um, I'm going to tell you what they symbolize now. Um, we lost two great moms, uh, Alicia and Jackie, if you may stand. These are for your moms, your favorite colors. These are, this is for you. <laughs> Alicia actually helped make some. <laughs> We didn't tell her, like, what, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you can be seated now. Thank you. Uh, before we close the ceremony, I would like to thank everyone for coming out to celebrate the class of 2022. Uh, I want to thank uh, all our families for staying at our sides, including my own. Um, to the staff on behalf of our class, we want to thank y'all for helping us fulfill our high school journey. Uh, I know we all didn't believe the people who said it's gonna be it's gonna go by real fast. Uh, now we can really say that it went by really fast. We lost two years. Uh, just, no, uh, these four years have gone by like a lightning strike, and I know. Um, and now it's time to move on. As we have all grown out of our skinny freshman bodies <laughs> into our confident uh, young into confident young adults. Uh, we are ready for the future. In a short few months, many of us will be starting a new chapter of our lives with college, military, or work. Uh, wherever you go and whoever you meet, uh, may you grow with them, just like you did here, having a never-ending bond. Uh, I want to wish everyone the absolute best, and you are loved and appreciated. Uh, there is so much more to be seen of the class of 2022 and what we'll accomplish. I know uh, you have heard this word throughout the morning, afternoon, I don't know what time it is, sorry. <laughs> uh, but congratulations one last time. Uh, at this time, uh, can we turn your attention to the graduation program on page seven and read along with me as I recite the HTB promise. And guests are welcome to join in. Promise yourself to be strong that nothing can disturb, disturb your peace of mind. To take health, happiness, to talk, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do that again. To talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. To make all your friends feel that there is something in them to took at the skits and the optimism come true. To think for the best, to work only for the best, and to accept only the best. To be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful countenance at all times and give every living creature you meet a smile. To give so much in the... <laughs> Criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of yourself and to proclaim this fact to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. I don't know, that was my last one. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> So as a longtime tradition at Branch Academy, each year the senior class chooses a song that represents this year. Seniors, if you could please stand. For the sake of time, there's only really one chorus that attention to the words in which it is, I think, represent what it is we've experienced this morning. So if you could please draw your attention to the screen. If you hadn't already noticed, when you drove in on Crosstown Expressway, we have some beautiful billboards, the digital ones that are dedicated to this particular class. They'll be running all week, so I hope you can capture those. 
You will meet your graduate outdoors in the front of the building. If we can please have again be seated until the students recess out. Thank you so very much. Thank you for joining us today. God bless.